All right, guys. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build the footer, design the footer, which is the last part of the video. So here, let's go to the reference section and kind of take and un understand how this is built. So this is our entire footer. And first of all, what I've done is I've gone ahead and give it a height of 422 pixels. Now, this is something that you can do if you want, or you can use something like a viewport height or even set a percentage value, whatever you think works well. But I just went ahead and set a footer to be 422 pixels. All right, cool. Now, as you can see, we've taken seven sections, seven columns, uh, sorry, seven columns for the first section. And then we've got two for the next and then two for the next. And this is kind of empty, right? And the reason I'm doing this is because if I move this completely over to the right side, the center part looks completely empty. And if I move this to the center of the screen, then the right side is going to look completely empty. So I've gone ahead and, you know, designed it such a way that, you know, it looks optimally filled, right? And it doesn't feel too empty. Cool. So let's go ahead and start off by doing that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to start off by creating a frame and uh, I'm going to start off by creating a frame, by pressing F on the keyboard and uh, we're going to make this frame 422 pixels, right? There we go. And I'm going to go and add a fill to this and make this, this color and I'm going to make sure that it aligns to the edge of the previous section. Fantastic. The next is we've got the top section over here. Now I'm going to copy this because all the assets are already there in the description. You can get the link for that and I'm going to paste it over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there is a top padding of 80 pixels, right? We want 80 pixels on the top and make sure that it aligns over here uh, with 72 pixels. And this is going to be 40 pixels, right? We want, to, we want the height to be 40 pixels. And also, if you see, there are icons over here and these icons are inside a 24 by 24 pixel box, right? So we want icons to be in such a way. If you want, you can definitely increase the size, but make sure they're in a uniform box, all right? So that's pretty much it. And we've also got this text at the bottom. I'm going to copy that and we'll come over here and paste it. And we're going to move this down over here and make sure that this is also 80 pixels from the bottom. So we've got a nice amount of padding, right? And that's pretty much it. The left side is done. Now for the right side, you can see that we've got these links and these links are not just text, you know, they're kind of like a box and this is just one single text item. Now, the reason we want to do this is, is because when I hover on any of this area, I want this whole link to be active, not just when I hover on the text, when I hover on this entire block, right? So we kind of want to tell the developers that these links should be like this so that when I hover on this area, the link becomes active, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm actually going to start off by first of all, adding a uh, one of the text styles to this, which is around a 16 pixel paragraph. And I'm going to copy this again, and I'm going to bring it over here. And uh, I'm going to make this white. And obviously add a color to this. There we go. And make this home. All right. And I'm going to stick it off to the right side like so and make sure that it touches the edge, okay? And uh, make sure that this is also 180 pixels from the top, so 80 pixels. And then I'm gonna stretch this over, like so, and also increase this a little bit, right? So I'm gonna kind of increase it to 48 pixels. Now the reason it's on the top, that's because the alignment is on top. We're gonna choose align middle, so it comes over here. And that's pretty much it. All we have to do is kind of duplicate this, all right? And you can press Control D again, twice. So that's going to duplicate it multiple times. And let's go check the links. We've got home about work and process, right? So home about work and process. All right. And then now we're going to select all these right click and, and choose auto layout. So we put that into a frame and then we we'll gonna go ahead and duplicate this and move this over to the side. And then here we got store blog and reading list, right? So you click on store blog and reading list. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the last one because we don't need it. And that's pretty much it, right? And it looks fine, it looks fantastic. And this is an auto layout, so which means if I want to add another one or delete someone, I can just delete it and the whole thing is going to auto layout itself, right? And that's perfect. And that's pretty much it, right? So in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and, and make the rest of the designs, rest of the sections responsive for tablet and mobile breakpoints. So I'll see you guys in the next video.